Well, I'm just going to do a follow-up video on uh, one of my my more popular videos was the uh, the Yaesu FTDX 101D and uh, why I bought it. And um, I'm going to show you tonight one of the main reasons I bought this radio, apart from the fact that they're just a bloody great radio. Um, so tonight I've got a bit of noise on uh, 80 metres. Currently listening to the news on 3.620 and you can see each side of the frequency, you can see a fair bit of activity there. A uh, bit of QRM, QRN. Uh, there is some sort of uh, weather front coming through Perth and usually when that happens, uh, usually the band gets a little bit noisier. So if I just bounce off that frequency, you can see that uh, my noise floor is around S5, probably peaking at S S7, which is fair enough. You can hear it, a bit noisy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what the VC tuner does. Uh, nothing else. I'm not going to go into notching and all the other stuff. That I can do that as well, but I just want to show you basically what the VC tune does. Okay, so to activate the VC tune, fairly simple. Hit the VC tune button. And the VC tune adjuster is this outer ring here. So you can see straight away by me hitting the VC tune straight away. Visually and also audio wise, a lot of that QRM, QRN has disappeared straight away. Uh, so if I bring the, you can see the VC tuner working now, you can see where it peaks and flows across the frequency so what happens is you know we're getting a seven or nine peak on the um on the qrm but what i can do and if you just listen i can tune that noise out but what hasn't happened i haven't lost the audio quality and that's what makes this radio so much better i believe than the opposition the fact that that VC tuner can do that uh, you're never going to get rid of all of it it's, it's impossible it will it will never happen but this is probably why this is number one on the Sherwood report for having the best receiver out of any ham radio ever built and I know that can be subjective but the Sherwood report is a Sherwood report it's the barometer of uh, radios and uh, it makes it a lot better to listen to, a lot more pleasurable. So once again, I'll just go through. I'll turn that VC tuner off. It's off now. And bingo, away we go. Noisy band again. So once again, I'll hit the VC tune. You can see straight away. On or off. On, straight away. And I haven't lost any audio quality. And I'll, re I'll wind this up again. To get you, what are you going to do first? You tune the capacitor out to where you think the best audio response is. So, as I said, I couldn't be happy with this radio. This is what this radio is capable of doing. And I don't think there's any other radio on the market. Apart, no, there is no other radio on the market. It's got a barrel capacitor that can perform like this and knock out the QRM, QRN so effectively. Now, I'm not uh, not paid by AC or anything like that, but I'm just saying to all those people that have a problem with 80 metres, and there's a hell of a lot of people, I don't know how many hams around the world would have a problem with 80 metres, especially if you've got an 80 metre loop. Uh, great antennas, 80 metre loops, great receivers, but they bring in a lot of QRM and QRN with them. That's how they work. I would, uh, one day I'm going to do an 80 metre loop. I've got the space, but, you know, I've had no real urge to. Um, so if you've got a QRM problem, not so much a QRN problem because we can't do much about that. But if you've got a QRM problem, and I know people that, you know, they live near power lines and there's signals from the power lines uh, is S7, S9 every night. Um, I'd strongly suggest if you could get one of, a hold of one of these radios uh, to use, or, you know, borrow or whatever you have to do, sell the wife. Um, I'd strongly suggest you get one of these radios. I 
doubt that you'll be disappointed. Such a great radio. That's it. It's all gone away. A simple press of a button. Hope you like this video. 73s for now.